Hi, I'm Mike Stanton. It's May 27th. This is the BAM Weekly Muni Market Update. I'm here with Chris Flossie from BAM's Capital Markets Desk. Chris, thanks for being here. Uh, very uh, strong week in the municipal market. There was uh, foreshadowed last week. We started to talk about crossover buyers coming into the market, creating new uh, demand for bonds. That certainly played out this week. Uh, what kind of activity did you see? Yeah, so this week we definitely saw a rally in the market, which is different from what we've seen in, in the, the past few weeks. With the daily rally, there were daily bumps to the MD curve. Uh, which caused that to tighten up pretty significantly. Um, the, the market definitely felt the most firm that it has been in the last few weeks, the last few sessions. Um, we definitely saw a lot of dealers being able to put away some of their inventory, which I think is something that they've been waiting for this, thus far in 2022. And it was a happy surprise to come you know, before a long weekend also. And one thing that was interesting is in addition to the crossover buyer activity, we saw um, at least a significant slowing in the outflows from municipal bond mutual funds. I think the uh, the Lipper number for the weekly reporting funds was down to $400 uh, million. And we heard from some people who have real-time data on a daily basis. There were even days this week where there were net inflows to mutual funds. So maybe even some of that retail activity is uh, is shifting over. Right. Um, and all of that, of course, adds up to uh, an outperformance for the muni market versus treasuries. Uh, we've been talking the last couple of weeks about ratios of tax exempt bonds at more than 100 percent of uh, ratio of uh, yields on taxable treasury bonds, both at the 30 year and at the 10 year level. Those ratios fell below 100 percent this year, this week. Uh, so we saw a significant outperformance by munis, um, really kind of a, a big relief rally. Um, what uh, how did that translate into the new issue market? What kind of activity did you see there? So in the new issue market was still it was it was a pretty solid week overall. We definitely saw some of the deals that might have been shelved for a little while, given the market sentiment, come and be more in play this week with where rates were going. Ban this week had another solid week of volume. We had 24 series price for 411 million dollars of insured par. Uh, we had a diverse mix of business this week. We priced a series in 14 different states and nine different individual sectors. So that was some positive momentum there. Uh, some notable transactions for this week are the Evansville, Indiana water and sewer deal, which was a $53 million transaction with Stiefel. Uh, there was a Lake Worth Beach, Florida transaction with Morgan Stanley that totaled nearly $45 million. And then the Macon Bib, Georgia transaction for $44 million with Stiefel. And that transaction carries a uh, ratings in the AA category, AA3 and AA minus, respectively, by Moody's and S&P. So it was nice to see some high grade uh, insured activity this week in Georgia. Right. Next week's new issue calendar is going to be uh, somewhat subdued. Uh, obviously, people will be ob observing the Memorial Day holiday on Monday. I think the rest of the calendar is, is maybe less than $5 billion for the week. Um, and then things to watch uh, in the rest of June is, is does, does supply bounce back? And what happens with the retail side? There is going to be a lot of cash coming into the market, uh, obviously, in June and July from uh, maturities and coupon payments. How much that gets redeployed in munis versus other markets is, is going to really uh, define how much uh, legs I think this mark rally has, right? Exactly. I mean, with all those payments, the, the retail space will see how that kind of impacts against the the flow, the fund flows to see if that can kind of offset what comes in and out of the, of the mutual funds. We'll, that we'll be very interested to see how that plays out. Great. Well, thanks, Chris. We'll, uh, we'll touch base next week. Have a great weekend.